Let's talk about the floating chat button widget from Unlimited Elements. Let's just go over here to this example on their website. When I click on this, these buttons appear and float up. And in fact, if I just go over to their actual website, you can probably see it just down there in the bottom right. If I click it, they actually have this enabled on their website if you just want to go in and have a look. What is the benefit of this? You could now make it really easy for your visitors to now get in touch with you or to maybe go over to your social media or contact you or even WhatsApp as well. You can't deny that having features like this makes it easy and quick for your audience to connect with you. It's about interaction. It's about engaging. Don't overlook it. I mean, this is fully customizable and look at the options you have here and you're not just limited to the bottom right either. You can start positioning your icons any way you want on your website. Come on, let's start working with it. Once you've activated unlimited elements in WordPress on your left hand side, click on widgets, go over to the search in the top right and let's just type in the word chat and we are going to go for the floating chat buttons. Click install. I'm on a test page and I'm now going to type in chat and there it is and let's just drag it in. The very first setting is deciding on the positioning. Now it's currently a set as inline. That means I can put that anywhere I want on my website. And of course, don't forget you have the advanced options as well. If you then want to set the position as well, being absolute or fixed. But this widget goes a step further than just using the advanced options. If I pick fix now, it has gone to the bottom right. I can decide to put this in the top and it's now gone to the top right. And I might say stick it in the top left. How simple and easy was that? So if you wanted to have multiple options, and by the way, you don't have to have just one. You could have this on your website multiple times. Of course, don't go overly crazy with it. Let's leave it at the top so you can see it properly. You can adjust the positioning as well. Not only the vertical, but the horizontal as well. Let's just stick it over there, okay? But I want to get across, this is super, super good and easy to use. Now let's go to the general tab. You can change the icons for open and closing, which is great. You can also decide if you're going to show labels, which I will activate and you'll see what that does in a moment. Now, because I've put this at the top, down to up doesn't work very well. Let me just show you what happens. It does that, which isn't great. So instead, because we have positioned at the top, let's go from up to down, play around with it. You'll know which one works for you. So now when we click it, it doesn't move and it just goes downwards. And if you can now see here, this is where the labels are now being activated and we have further settings here. Now, if I apply the goo effect, when you click it, can you see they're almost connected like they're dripping into one another? And it is quite nice how it's got a bit of gradient mixture going on there. Let's take that off. What about the overlay? Well, we now have an overlay setting enabled. And when I click it, you can see what it's doing there. But what about if we enable an intention grabber as well? So why don't we go for a spin effect there? So when I now click that, it span, right? It doesn't do it to the individual icons, okay? It's only to the trigger button. So look, when you close it there, there's a bit of a spin effect going on. And look, you do have other options. So if we were to go with grow, when you click it, it grows, okay? So there's a lot of options here for you to play around with, which I think are super good. Now let's go over to channels. Now this is where we can add to the three that we already have. I'm going to click add item and down here where we have regular link, I'm actually going to go and pick Facebook. Now this is where you can now pop in uh, the user ID. So my user ID is Imran Sadiq 90. If you put in the full URL, which is HTTPS Facebook.com backslash Imran Sadiq, it won't work. You only need to put the user ID in here. So just follow the prompts that you are given on how you need to add it. And of course, obviously test it out. Now you can start to decide on what the name is over here. So this is a channel Facebook. I'm just going to put FB for now. I can go in and style this and decide, am I going to use official colors or am I going to use my own custom colors? So I'm just going to put in a red color there just to kind of get across that this is quite good at being personalized and also from a responsive mode. So are you going to show that item on just the mobile and not on the desktop? I just go back to my channel. I am just going to change the icon over there. And we're just going to pick a Facebook one like that. So, you know, if you want to add in Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, lots and lots of different items, go for it. Now, if we go over to the style option up here, you can start to adjust your button size. If I was to put in 100, well, you know, you, get, you kind of get the idea for what's going on there. The same with the icon size as well. If we go to the trigger, 
This is where you can start to change the color of that as well. I mean, you could, if you want, completely get rid of the color like that uh, and do something like this, which wouldn't be very good if I'm really honest. But the options you have here for the standard color, the hover color are awesome. And of course, you can adjust the label's color as well and the position. So let's now just have a look at that because I've added in Facebook and I've modified the positioning a bit. So there we go. We've now got our Facebook. And look, when you hover over it, I have a transparent background just with my text. So you are not limited to just thinking about social media when you use this. Please bear that in mind. If I just go back to content and I go to channels, what is there to stop you adding in an item? Leave it as a regular link, okay? Change the icon to be whatever you want. And now you can put in a link to a page like shop, services, contact, anything like that. It doesn't just have to be social media. So you have the opportunity to create almost like a menu system. And that is what I love about the floating chat. It isn't just a chat. You could create a menu system using this. If you haven't already, I strongly recommend playing around with the floating chat buttons from Unlimited Elements.